because I, I played under lots of managers that have, have kind of, um, I think it was the, uh, uh, I forget who said this, you know, I've stopped reading the book because I've lived the book. And, and I, it might have been uh, Brian Cody. Brian Cody in his book, you know, the Kilkenny manager said that. And I thought, ah, because sometimes as a coach, I'm not saying Stephen has swallowed the, the psychology handbook about positivity and stuff. But, but sometimes, you know, it, 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 I think the lads, from what we hear, would they be better with a dose of realism rather than obviously um, keeping all the positive? The danger is if you, if you then are more of a realist, then the people you know, does that weigh you down if you're going to lose a lot of football matches? It looks like, obviously, for Ireland, for the last while, I've lost a lot of football matches because the the sort of quality, overall breadth and depth of the squad is not like it was 10 years ago, say. So you might end up losing a lot of games. If you've got someone there who's a pretty dour personality and he's quite negative, more of a realist, then maybe that would wear, the down, wear down the lads a lot. Whereas Stephen, I think, is on the reverse, where he's, you know, trying to keep it positive all the time. And, and I guess at times, if if that's false hope, it, it can also be detrimental to the players as well in terms of, well, hang on a minute, we need to get real. We're, we're, we're quite a long way off from getting a result against these teams rather than dressing it up as something else. I think I was more on the side of I'd like my manager to be more realist rather than, you know, picking the positives and everything. Like you have to, you have to drill it down if you want to start getting results and, and you know, a couple of mistakes in each game due to the squad that we've got and the, the players, you know, is all it takes for us to kind of lose a couple of games. And look, missing out, say Andrew I'm, I'm with Damabele, he's been injured for ages anyway. So, I mean, you, you can't then hang your hat on, say, Andrew being fit. Evan's had a lot of injuries, but, you know, obviously it would have been a lot different with Evan in the team because I think it would just give him the whole, not so necessarily the result would have changed, but for Stephen and the rest of the lads, I mean, that is your talisman. That is your main man up top. He would have, they would have just given that dressing room an awful lot of confidence as it is going in with, with Adam up top. I mean, Adam's barely played as well and hasn't had a lot of game time for the last season or two. So, uh, so you're really going up sort of a mountain here. And, uh, you know, we find that we have to keep picking holes and stuff because we're it's such a, it's such a fine line between winning and, and losing for us at the minute based on the, 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 the lads that we've got available. 